Something I did want to discuss is the new Cat William that came out. So a lot of people don't know, or maybe they do know, uh, Cat William came out with a, uh, how can I explain it? A, uh, a comedy bit, but it was, I don't know. It was, it's weird to explain. Like it was a comedy bit, but it was a bit for Supreme. It was more like a commercial, if anything, right? And as a commercial, it looked a little weird. Um, I'm probably gonna take the the widget off. There we go. It looked weird, you know, as a commercial for Supreme. But all in all, this was a great bit. He talked about everything. He talked about racism. He talked about you know, the presidency and Trump and all of that. But he said something very good that I really enjoyed. Um, he talked about how there is a stigma that black people are going to get enraged and overrun the country. Um, and that's a very important stigma because a lot of people have always talked about how black people, you know, could eventually overrun the country. Um, they get mad and they, they get to anger and all of that. And that's a very, that's a very big stigma. And he touches on that because he says, well, hey, for 400 years, we've been here and we've never gotten that upset. We've never gotten that angry. We've never gotten that mad. So I don't understand why you are upset now. And that is true. Um, I've never seen anybody get so upset, get so angry where they want to, you know, attack somebody. So truth be told, like I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, like this is, this is dope. This is very interesting. I really truly do think that this is uh, a great stand up. It's listen, I like my comedians to speak about social injustice. I love that. Um, I love when Dave Chappelle does it or Chris Rock does it. It's not a lot of comedians that that does it that I hear about, um, but the big names do it. So for Cat Williams to come out here in a a Duke uh, colorful wig, lace front, you know, obviously it was all a joke, which is what comedians do. But the fact that he kept it real, he kept it real. He just talked about the truth of being black in this country. It was great. It was great. So shout out to Supreme for doing that. Um, this was a great little bit. And it was weird because he didn't have an audience. You know, he, he did this all by himself. He did it quietly. You know, th there wasn't a lot of laughs. There wasn't a lot of, you know, anything right because it wasn't a comedy bit it wasn't a lot to laugh about but his stage presence was key it was, it was, it was incredible it was incredible um so I, I loved that i loved i loved i loved that like i said it, it came off a little weird at first because when you see a comedian on stage you know with a microphone in front of him you want to laugh it doesn't matter if there's an audience there or not you want to laugh so you necessarily didn't get a lot of laughs from this but it was still great it was Feel great. Um, so yeah, man, overall, I loved this full bit. Um, so shout out to Supreme, shout out to everybody with that. DJ